What do you want, Thorpe? A little off-the-record conversation about Williams. Come on, Frank, please. Just for old time's sake. Fletcher, don't Ask waste your time. Five minutes. Come five on. Minutes. Four and a half minutes. Do you want to make a statement to the press? Why not? You get five minutes, Fletcher. All right, thanks. Five. Thank you. Okay, five, five, five. Okay. Hi. I think you remember me, right? I mean, we were roommates in the hospital. We were sick together. So that makes my new best friend? No, no, no. It's just that, uh, you know, when uh, guys are sick together, uh, guys get a sense of the other guy when he's too sick to put on much of an act. What do you want to know? I want to know what really happened about Detective Cutter's killing. If, if you're holding anything back. I mean, everybody out here is saying a whole lot of things about you and why you did it. But everything they're saying doesn't really ring true to me. So I really want to know from you what really happened. Come on, Marcus. I don't know what's going through your head right now, but you got to be thinking, or you should be thinking, to get a good lawyer. Because right now you're facing a minimum of 25 years all the way up to life. And it could be worse. It just depends on which judge sits in on your case. Marcus, right now, silence is definitely not golden. This attitude of yours, Marcus, is, is going to make things even worse. What do you want me to say? Look, it's simple. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Man, you're a smart guy. You can figure this out. You need me to paint you a picture. No, I don't. Look, I'll just give you the picture everybody already out here has painted. Now, a cop is dead. A good cop. He was a friend of mine. Not to mention everybody here. Now, you got nothing to say. You got no alibi. You don't even want to talk to the public defender they're willing to provide. All you're going to say is, wrong place, wrong time? You know where that's going to lead you? To a jury, handing in a verdict of guilt without even sending out for lunch. Now, Marcus, do yourself a big favor. You are your only and your best chance. You begged me to pull the knife out, man. You just you begged me to pull it out. What? What did you say? Charlotte, you don't understand. It is very clear. Every time someone comes in here, you, you turn your face or, or you run away. Why do you not want anyone here to know who you are? It's because of my son and, and my daughter. I have to be careful about seeing them. I want nothing more than to... Grab a hold of them and hold on to them and let them know that I'm still alive. But I can't do that. I don't want to scare them. I know how hard this must be for you to understand how hard this is on me. Forgive me. I should not have spoken so harshly. It's all right. I know you're worried about Abigail, but she's going to be fine. I'll be back. Wait. Where are you going? You're not going to spy on your children. Stay out of this. Why do you torture yourself like this? You know you're just going to be hurt again. You couldn't possibly understand. At least let me come with you. Oh, why, so you can control everything that happens? Can you blame me? I care for you, Reva. I love you. Now, it's clear you cannot take care of yourself. I've done fine all, all my life. Oh, really, have you? Well, look at you. You're just charging out without even thinking about what it might cost you. No one can, can protect me from how, the hurt I might feel. Then why go looking for it? Because I need to find some peace. I, I need to find some kind of a sign that, that will tell me whether or not I should stay or I should go. What kind of sign? I don't know. But I know that I didn't leave all my faith in Goshen. God will show me the way. Somehow. How to find Rebecca, I don't know. But you know some even if I did know, I'm not sure I'd tell you. Why not? She's special, you know. She's honest. She doesn't have the tools to deal with somebody like you. No offense. Well, I am offended. Here's your turkey. What I want to do is find out about my brother. I want to make sure this woman isn't taking it. How well do you really know this woman? Uh, well enough to know that she's really real. She doesn't know how to use the word. Use, you know what I mean? She's she's honest, she's kind, she's beautiful, she's very down to earth. <laughs> you sound like you're as enamored with her as my dear brother. Do <sighs> well, you know anything else about her? How long she plans to stay here, where she's staying? Never 
never said, never said. I don't know if I'm going to see her again. Mm. Let it go, Al. Are those words for me or you? I don't know. Maybe both of us. One thing I do know is that the only thing that happens when you get involved with your brother's business is trouble. <laughs> well, I appreciate the concern. When was the last time you turned away from a family member in trouble? Bye. Bye. I hesitated to say anything, and I'd be very grateful for your keeping this between us. What is it, Thorpe? Why, you may have noticed my wife uh, has a soft spot for this guy, so I wouldn't want her to know I've been helpful to you guys. Look, I can keep my mouth shut, so this better be good. This isn't his first offense. It didn't come up on the computer. Well, that's because I'm talking about in Europe, where he spent the last few years. How do you know this? Well, I still have connections, and they used to thought I could know, because my wife is such a close friend of this character. And frankly, I'm glad they warned me, because he's got one prompt temper. I mean, he flies off the handle without provocation. He even came after me one day. No, he sure wasn't the first. Okay. But the fact is, I was putting his room and board at the Regency at the time. I mean, he's really nuts. And, uh... I guess that's what happened with Cutter. You know, we've had our differences, but nobody deserves this. No. This must be a very difficult time for you. For, you. for all of us. Sure, sure, I understand. Well, look, um, if you want any more specifics about his activities in Europe, here's a few phone numbers, and you didn't get them from me. Thanksgiving decorations, and I discovered I didn't have a pumpkin. So here I am, and uh, here you are. And it just, can you believe this? I mean, what are you doing here? It's, uh, <laughs> you, what, you, like, you do Christmas shopping and souvenirs? Please. Writing a movie? Please. No, what? Not so loud. I'm sorry. I, I tend to do that when I'm, I'm nervous, and I seem to be nervous when I'm around you. I, I, could, I could probably go on all day if you just let me. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I know I do understand. But can I just ask you one thing? Um... Because I think I'm beginning to.